today we will be discussing the topic minimization of DFA. There are basically three methods to convert to minimize or reduce a DFA. First one is the direct method. Second one is the PI method or you can say PI method. And the third one is the myhill nirod theorem which is used to reduce the given DFA. Now you can use any of the three methods for the reduction unless and until it is not specified in the given question that you have to do the reduction by using a particular method only. So in this lecture I will be discussing only the direct method. So if we talk about the direct minimization method, so this involves elimination of all the three categories of states. First one is the unreachable states, then the dead states and the indistinguishable states. I have discussed regarding all these three set of states in my previous lecture that is minimization of DFA its prerequisite kindly refer to that for the introduction of these three categories of states. For example we have to minimize the given DFA. Now our first step uh, should be that we must say that whether the given DFA is complete or incomplete. Complete DFA means that for each and every state in the given DFA, we should have transition for all the input alphabets from that particular state. So now, for example, if we have a given DFA, we check from Q0, we have transition for A, we have transition for B as well. If we check Q1 then, then from Q1 state, we have transition for A and transition for B as well. If I check Q2, then again for A and B, there are two transition. Same with Q3, Q4, Q5, Q6 and Q7. So from each and every state, we are having transition to the next state for each and every given input alphabet. So now we declare the given DFA as a complete DFA. An incomplete DFA is the one which may miss some of the transitions from state for the given input alphabets. Now regarding the minimization of DFA using direct method, First of all, draw the transition table. Now, in this case, the first step is to eliminate the unreachable states, those states which cannot be reached from the initial state. Now, if we look at the diagram, we will find that Q3 is an unreachable state because it cannot be reached from the initial state either directly or indirectly. It is pointing towards Q2 or it is pointing towards Q6, but it is not having any of the incoming arrows. So, it cannot be, you can say, reached from the initial state. So, we will eliminate this given state Q3 from the transition table and then write the transition table with the remaining state. So, we will write the transition table again with the states for input A and B. Now, our set of states will be Q0, then Q1, then Q2, then Q4, Q5, Q6 and Q7. Fine. So again the transition. Now what we will do? We will divide the given table, transition table into two parts. First one, set one, non-final states and set two, final states. Fine. So the set 1 will contain states Q0, Q1, Q4, Q4, Q5, Q6 and Q7 and we will copy that their transitions. Now in this case we are having only one final state so we will write the transition with A and B of Q2. It is Q2, Q0. Clear? Now, the step 2 is to eliminate the indistinguishable state. Fine. So, indistinguishable states are those states which are having same transitions for all the inputs. So, if we look at the table, if we look at Q1 and Q7, we find that Q1 with A is Q2 and Q7 with A is also Q2. Q1 with B is Q6 and Q7 with B is also Q6. So we find that Q1 and Q7 are indistinguishable state and both of these are non-final. Fine. So we will eliminate one of the states from the given set. Clear? So either we can eliminate Q1 or we can eliminate Q7. So now, now let us suppose that if we eliminate Q7 from the given set. 
so then what we will do wherever we will find q7 in the transition table we will replace q7 by using q1 so if i look for the q7 i found q7 over here so what i do i will replace it by q1 because there is no state named as q7 in the dfa but yes we have replaced this state with the q1 as both of these are the similar states clear now next if we look at the transition q5 q1 for q0 and q4 q5 q1 so again we find that these two are indistinguishable states clear so now what we will do again we will either eliminate q0 or we can either eliminate q4 fine now in this case we will eliminate q4 clear so now what next we will do we will basically again replace q4 by q0 again so i will look for q4 i found it here so i will write over here q0 again if i find found anywhere q4 then i will replace it by q0 again clear now suppose in this case if i have eliminated q0 but have kept the q4 state then because q0 is an initial state and we are eliminating it but then we will uh, announce this state as a initial state we have to you can say mention this state as a initial state clear so now again we will look for that if we found any of the similar state or so again the answer is no in this case there is only one single state in the set of final state but yes if there are more than one state for final state let us say there are five to six states then again we will look for that if we found any of the indistinguishable states in that case as well that is what we have discussed in the previous lecture that indistinguishable st states are those states which are having similar transitions for all the given inputs and those states must be either final or non final only then we can declare that the given state is indistinguishable with some particular state or not fine so now we will merge the transition table and then write the new transition table as a b the states are q0 q1 q2 q5 and q6 fine q3 has been eliminated eliminated because it was unreachable q4 and q7 have been eliminated because these were indistinguishable states with some other states so now the final transition table now in this particular transition table we will look for the dead states if any in the first step what we were, we were looking for we were looking only for the unreachable states not the dead state at this point then we will eliminate indistinguishable states and then we will eliminate dead state so now if we look at the given transition table or if we look at the given diagram there are no dead state there is no state which is not leading, leading to the final state so this one is the resultant dfa or you can say the minimized dfa transition table of the minimized dfa and then we will draw the transition diagram so this one is the minimized dfa equivalent to the given dfa and now we can see we have reduced three states from the given eight state so this can reduce the complexity and the time of you can say implementation of the system for which we are designing the dfa this is all about minimization using direct method thank you for listening and watching